fun. It's been a lot of fun action for X-Plane 12. Listen, here's my review. We're not going to leave just yet. I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts so far. Um, here's, here's, here's what I think. <coughs> Sky Dolly's my new merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I save? Save as a replay. Save. Save. Uh... Here's what I think. I think if you're an X-Plane 12 or X-Plane 11 flight simmer, you're really going to get a huge kick out of X-Plane 12. You're going to love the convenience. You're going to love how easy it is um, on your PC. You're going to love that a lot of your mods will become compatible right off the bat. Um, it feels very familiar. It's very honest and brutal physically speaking. Like if you're not handling the plane correctly, you're going to crash. You're going to land hard. Uh, where it lacks luster and where it needs great improvement is just the textures and the, the terrain mapping. Microsoft Flight Sim has done a, a bang up job of like, they're like, all right, we are sick of having this conversation. We are going to be the most beautiful sh in the world. We're going to have the most beautiful, it's going to be gorgeous. We don't give a sh it's, that's That's all we care about. It's going to look good. And then they took care of sort of the flight simulator aspect of its secondary and it shows right it's a beautiful sim it's gorgeous i told everyone i was like as soon as the p i i had i told you guys a year ago i told you guys a year ago i was like listen as soon as we have some serious airliners here the conversation is going to change and now look and now look and now look the conversation has changed i told everyone i was like look all Microsoft Flight Sim is missing is the actual good aircraft. And now they've got some decent ones in there. And everyone's, uh, mm, no, X-Plane, I could never. 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 Microsoft Flight Sim or die. Uh, but no, seriously. Um, Having said that, though, the the the... What are we listening to? It's supposed to be on Miami vibes. You know what? We're going to nope out of here and go back to my playlist. That whining reminded me I need to go check out Reddit. <laughs> uh, but so Microsoft Flight Sim, as I was saying, comparatively to X-Plane 12, um, it's a beautiful program. It's a beautiful sim. It's gorgeous. Some of the best stuff that Microsoft Flight Sim has to offer is offered by other people, not Microsoft Flight Sim itself. It's from the enhancements or paid aircraft. We should mention that. It's also a CPU and GPU hog. It's not efficient to run unless you have a top end PC. We need to talk about that. And the funny thing is it's streaming the terrain to you guys. You're not even having that downloaded to your hard drive, right? Like Azure goes down, you no one is playing Microsoft Flight Sim. If Azure goes down, that's it. That's GG's, right? No one's playing Microsoft Flight Sim. If X-Plane, Azure goes down or, server go, or Amazon Web Services go down, you can't go online, right? You're you're playing, you're still playing X-Plane. In fact, all of us are gonna be playing X-Plane 12 if Microsoft Flight Sim has an, a server issue. We're all switching. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Microsoft Flight Sim has streaming because the Sobo is owned by Microsoft and Microsoft owned being yeah, uh, LR does not have that and would have needed to talk to Google. So true, but also Asobo was, um, it was a match made in heaven, right? It was a great way for them to use uh, cloud technology into a video game. It was a, I keep, I, you guys keep forgetting this. Microsoft Flight Sim, Microsoft Flight Sim is an experiment above everything else. You gotta remember, Microsoft Flight Sim is three sets of experimental technology stacked on top of each other. Go watch the documentary. It's not a video game. It's not a video game. It's three very experimental technologies stacked on top of each other. Go go watch the documentary on YouTube. You guys will be blown away, right? Yeah, there's a great documentary. In fact, we should look it up right now. We should probably watch it on Friday. Let me find the link. Ashley, welcome in, by the way. I was just giving my opinions on X-Plane 12 versus Microsoft Flight Sim, and um, here's my honest opinion. There is no versus. There is no versus. They have their pluses and minuses, and they have their. I think there is a. There's. I think there's room for both. I think there's room for both to exist. Can we 
Give me a second. There it is. It's beautiful. There it is in chat. Watch that. So this is that explains to you what Microsoft Flight Sim is comprised of, and it's essentially three technologies. I'm going to paraphrase. One is this is the satellite mapping, right? Is is the is streaming the Earth to your PC, like literally just streaming all of Google Earth or Google Maps and all of that to your PC. The second one is the uh, the 3D technology that analyzes that map and pops up the buildings. That's why all the buildings in Microsoft Flight Sim uh, have that weird uncanny feel because it's it's based it's largely animated. It's making that 2D map 3D. And then I forget what the third one is. What's the third one? It's like the overlay, right? It's like the overlay. The 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 actual plane is like an overlay. It's not it's not like a plane. But they're changing all of that. Uh, all right, so anyways, um, Microsoft Flight Sim is beautiful. If you want the most beautiful experience and you don't care about the realness of the aircraft or you're okay with it coming in second because the PMDG, while it feels a little floaty, it's not, you know, you can't throw it out and say it's not a real 7-3, right? You can't throw it out. You can't say, oh, it's in Microsoft Flight Sim. It's not valid. No, right? It's just a little floaty. Um, Microsoft Flight Sim is for you, but if you care about simulation fidelity above else physics first x-plane is i it feels it feels in the hands and with my peripherals i tried it on the alpha i tried it on the tca 320 feels much much better systems and flight models over visual for you that means x-plane 12 x-plane 12 i think has the edge right now and listen x-plane 12 isn't ugly it's not awful to look at it's just worse than Microsoft Flight Sim. And I think people had this great expectation that x 12 was gonna surpass Microsoft Flight Sim visually. And I don't think, I, I, well, I never thought that, I never thought it would have that, for sure. It looks like FSX, I mean, it's not bad. I think there can be some efficiencies, sure. But again, my PC is eating it up. I'm like, bro, I could push it. I could push everything to max and be fine. It's very efficient PC. I would say almost too efficient. But listen, you can always inject orthos, right? You can always do orthos and x-plane and then that conversation would, would minimize, right? If we wanna take that same application or that same deficit as we did to Microsoft Flight Sim, when Microsoft Flight Sim first came out, it was a PC hog. It was a resource hog and there were no serious airliners. There was nothing above GA. It was screenshot simulator. You guys remember that? And so what did we do? We brought the fly, the fly by wire came and said, hey, all right, this is as close as we can get for now. And everyone was yamming on the fly by wire, the A330 and what else? And, and other payway aircraft, right? Conversely with X-Plane 12, the same limitation was ortho. Or, I mean, yes, ortho is a resource hog, but just a hard drive hog. It's not a CPU hog, <laughs> but those screenshots are money. Yes. But okay, what I'm saying is we can apply the same logic here with X-Plane 12. If we really want the same physics and we want to, if we want our cake too, if we want to bake our cake and eat it too, we can just download Orthos and inject Orthos into Flight Sim. And, and there we go. Now we've got a beautiful and realistic, right? And then I want to compare it. I want to see them both as their most beautiful. Uh, either way, if you can afford both, get both. If you need one, you're going to have to ask yourself. You're going to have to ask yourself. Yeah, I think it comes down to what do you care about? Do you care about the aircraft being as realistic as possible because X-Plane 12 has the edge? Do you care about having the most beautiful experience uh, and you want to play it on Xbox? Bang, get Microsoft Flight Sim, done. They're both great. I give Microsoft Flight Sim, when it launched, like a six out of 10. When it launched, it was like a six out of 10 for me. It was a struggle. Now, solid nine. Microsoft Flight Sim is a solid nine right now. With all the stuff that's adding, with camp out, all the add-ons, all the payware aircraft, the stability, especially with system update 10 dropping, solid nine. Uh, X-Plane 12 on release, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it like a, like a, like a six, 6.8. I'm feeling like a 6.8, like a seven, 6.8, 7.2 range, right? It's like, it's the X-Plane 12 that you know, but it's, it's not enough it's not enough 
it's not enough to pull people over from Microsoft Flight Sim, and that's a problem, right? I think it's enough. It's enough if you play X Plane 11 to pull you into the next generation. You're like, yes, give me updates. But yeah, we'll give it a seven. We'll give it a seven. 6.8, 7.2, we'll call it a seven. Um, Microsoft Flight Sim, when it dropped, when it dropped, when it dropped, it pulled people from X Plane. When Microsoft Flight Sim dropped, it pulled people from X Plane. X Plane 12 is not having that same effect quite yet, right? People who are in Microsoft Flight Sim are kind of looking like, oh, what's kind of what's on the what's on the side over there? That's interesting. It's very, you know. Bro, Microsoft Flight Sim. Hey, people keep forgetting, man. When it released, it was a hot mess, bro. It was awful. CDDs for everything. Right? Having to dump your community folder for every update. There's still no cloud save for bus trips. Broken landing challenges. Oh man, but it was a pretty dumpster fire. You're right. It was a very pretty dumpster fire. <laughs> X-Men 12, it's pretty stable. I just flew I just flew the uh the A340 from from Chicago to Miami and, and my PC was bored. Okay, we're like, all right, you get you gotta push it here. Uh anyways. X Plane 12, we it's got there's gonna be more improvements. There's gotta be ways to improve the graphics and just stretch it. You know, it's gotta it's gotta push the needle a little bit more. Now that they've taken care of the physics, right? Microsoft Flight Sim did the same thing. They're like, all right, we're beautiful. Now we need to get the aircraft in here, right? X Plane's like, we got the aircraft in here, and then they're gonna be like, all right, now we can make it beautiful. Now that we've got aircraft in here, we know what's up. Now we can make it beautiful. All right, Butter Club, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's stream. Tomorrow. Show me your landing strip. I want to see it. What does it look like? Is it?